so you have an xbox connect 360 collecting dust well you have three options one sell it on ebay two use it with your pc or you can repurpose it by stripping it down so this video is based on the second option so let's get started with the basic things we require for connecting the connect to a pc let's get started so first you're gonna need a connect for windows sdk version 1.7 and uh, connect for windows developer toolkit version 1.7 apparently this is the only version which is compatible with xbox connect 360 so yeah along with that you're gonna need two other files which have been uploaded to the g drive so you can download So now we have downloaded all the files required so let's start installing them. So first we are going to install the SDK and then the developer toolkit. So after those two softwares are installed, extract DLL, REG, SVR and after extraction, uh, run DLL, REG, SVR dot EXE as administrator. And this dialog box will appear here. You have to browse the path for the connectcam.ax file and choose it. After choosing, click on the register button and uh, OK, close this and restart your system. Since your connect as an aux plug, you're gonna need an adapter. So this one's from Microsoft and uh, it can connect aux to an USB. And by the way, you're gonna need an USB 3.0 port available on your system. Now plug your connect to the adapter. And yeah, you need to connect it to an outlet too. Once you plug your USB to your laptop or your PC, there's gonna be a green light blinking on your connect. So that means uh, you've done everything well. So after doing all that, now go to uh, your start menu and look for connect for windows. And in that folder, open developer toolkit browser. So as you can see, there's a lot of menu being presented to you. So I'm gonna open one of the uh, camera options and I'm gonna play with the uh, tilt angle of the sensors or the connect you have and now I'm gonna open the infrared mode and here it is you can even record infrared videos I'm gonna show you how to do that using OBS do a clean recording of that And uh, here's a small sample of the infrared video capture.
Oh, and yeah, here you can see the infrared light pattern on the display. And uh, here's a sample of 3D point cloud with no color information. And again, uh, here's a sample of 3D point cloud showing distance by color. So I think using OBS or any other screen recording apps, you can capture the footage being displayed on your system. There is still one problem though, you can't use your camera app uh, for some reasons, it's not working over here. And when you unplug the connect, your camera app works.